Good morning guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching the vlog. Welcome back to March Madness. It's bright and early. It's actually quite chilly, but we're headed down to the pickleball court here at Thousand Trails Orlando. Pickleball is a big thing and I've really been, I've been playing every day. I've been good. I'm going to go down there and play for a couple hours and then I got to get to work, but let's head out. <laughs> pickleball now I have to go do the work thing unfortunately so let's roll Laundry, at, or I'm sorry, laundry. The garbage at this thousand trails is a little different. They have the like, centralized area where they have compactors. So you have to come over here, load it up. Ooh. Stinky. That's it. We dumped, got rid of our trash and we got fuel, which was not cheap. So now I gotta get to Dade City. I got about an hour drive, maybe a little less. Get my butt to work, you know, I'm having too much fun, gotta get to work. So let's roll. Hey, how are you? While Kyle is in Dade City, me, you, Molly, and Eli are all going to go on a bike ride around TTO. You wanna go check out TTO? Come on, let's go. Oh. You guys got the scoop scoop? Yeah. You got it? This is one of my favorite parts of TTO is this beautiful lake that we've got back here and there are definitely alligators in here. Let's go take a walk on the dock. The kids are already parked their scooters. So we're just gonna have a nice little fun day around TTO. What do you guys think of the lake? Um, crocodiles and snakes. Crocodiles, you mean alligators? Oh yeah. <laughs> It's so cool. It's got all this grass down here. You guys can talk about an alligator, tell us. I know, if, if you see an alligator out there, let us know. Because even as Floridians, like we never, or I never see alligators anywhere. It's not scary. You just have to walk softly, that's all. Whoa. This is really pretty. So you can come take a seat down here and just relax, right? Uh, the seat's dirty? That's okay. It's a little dirty. You see any alligators, Eli? No, are you looking for some? The water's really calm out there today. Well, we'll probably sit here for a couple more minutes and then let's uh, get back on the bikes. All right, guys, so we're back here at the property. We did get this unit rented out. It's gonna be under final inspection here in a couple days. This one here, I'm getting close. I'm actually fixing the toilet lid, toilet bowl lid. 
and I've got a new toilet seat, but this one basically, I'm just trying to get it clean, get all my stuff out of it. I have a professional cleaner coming in here tomorrow. So hopefully this thing by the end of the week will be runnable. So I gotta put this toilet seat on and then clear out all of my crap. Get behind me. Thank you. All right, stay behind me. Hey, babe. This is actually their new section, and it is paved concrete sites. It is actually really, really nice in here. And they just added this last year or the year before. It's a nice section. Yep. All right, Eli, go to the left. All right, we're gonna go over here to the family center. All right, so I did get all of my crap cleaned out of here. So tomorrow they're gonna come in and clean it. I actually did go out, I ordered a new stove. So it'll be here, stupid handle was broken. And it's pretty nasty, so I went to a used appliance shop and got a nice new stove. They got the power turned on, which is great. Everything seems to be working other than, watch this, I'm gonna click the AC on. Air handler kicks on. Outdoor unit kicks on, but it's buzzing and the fan is not running. I ran it for a few minutes and the fan never came on. So that's always fun. I've already got two ACs I have to replace at the moment. So I really hope I don't have to make it three because that's gonna get even more expensive. So I gotta call out an AC guy, but tomorrow this thing will be clean. My oven gets here, my stove gets here tomorrow. Other than the AC, this thing will be ready to go hopefully in the next couple days. Also, I forgot to add, that unit is rented out. So the sooner I can get it done, the sooner we can get people in or the, the girl in there and start collecting some money on it. I used a company, it's a, it's a ministry, it's a Catholic ministry and they take in domestic abused women from abusive relationships, give them a place to stay. And in the meantime, they kind of put, try to put their lives together and they also help them find a place to stay or a place to rent, which I think is amazing. I love that. So I love being a part of that. So they basically foot the bill for like the first six months of the, of the rents. And after that, they get assistance for you know the duration of the lease basically it's a really good program i'm super proud to be a part of that i had the opportunity and i heard about it i jumped all over it. one girl that moved in she was abused when she moved in her nose was broken the, her eye had been dislocated out of its socket saw so her husband or boyfriend beat the living out of her apparently so luckily i think she's doing pretty good she's got a nice place we got her set up and we're moving in another one very same organization super proud of that where are we going into mall uh the rec center we're gonna go check out the rec center and see what they've got inside so it looks like they got a buffet in here i've actually never been in here as many times as we've been to tto i have not been in the rec center so they've got a game area over there they've got um an activities room they even have a camp store in there that little bulletin board that's pretty neat oh tto cash bingo games begin wednesday me and daddy might do it farmer's market thursdays 9 30 to 4. we've got line dancing like this is so cool like they have so many cool things you guys are coming with us to the food truck and car show 3 p.m to 7 p.m looks cool we just came out those doors and this is the other side of the rec center they've got a playground over here this is the line of rvs to get in it goes all the way down here and you notice it goes all the way down the road it starts at 12 so everybody tries to get a good spot because all the spots here are first come first serve Actually, right back here behind the barn was full of junk. I had a guy, a crew come out today. They hauled all the junk off and they actually, this mobile home here, the one on the left, the blue and white one, they did a complete clean out of it because it was completely left abandoned. 
absolutely disgusting. So they did a complete clean out of that, got it cleaned up. So now I'm looking for someone to do some work in that mobile home and also the one on the end. That's my last two units to get rented out, guys. I'm pretty stoked about that. Everything's finally coming together. Back here, my pump shed. I don't know, he tore that down. He's gonna be hauling that off for me, I guess I guess over the summer. One of the storms blew the pump shed and, and mangled it all up, so it's useless. So I have to get a new pump shed to cover the well pump. But yeah, it's coming together. The property's looking good, and uh, it's about freaking time. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna hop on the road, head back to Orlando or Claremont or whatever you wanna call it, and uh, meet back up with the kids and Jen. It's been a long day, but I think we got quite a bit done. Hey, what are you doing? We actually have a really special treat for you. Kyle's not home yet because he's still in Dade City, so we need to find stuff to do. And remember earlier, we went on that little bike ride and saw that there was a car show today? Well, we're gonna go look at some cars. You wanna go? Come on. All right, at this street up here, we're gonna make a left, okay? for all of this excitement that we are about to have because there's a lot of fun stuff going on and I'm ready to show you. You ready to see it? We have got all these cool cars. Eli, look at that one. What do you think of that one? Pretty cool, right? Look how cool with the flames on it. That's awesome. Look at this one. These are awesome. Look at this Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a pretty car. El Camino. It's like a car, but a truck. And then, do you know what this car is? It's a Mustang. Ooh, this one's really pretty. In addition to the cars they have at the car show, they also have some pretty cool food trucks. So let's take a look at what they got. They have roasted rotisserie grill, toasted subs, garlic cilantro grilled chicken wraps, and then Casa Frida street tacos. Ooh, daddy would like this one, wouldn't he? Uh -huh, he's in Dade City. I know, he's working in Dade City today. And then there's this one, rock, paper, scissors, eat. Now that's my kind of place. You see anything that you like? I do. I what, what do you like? that street pizza down oh, there. Oh, let's go look at that. Dio Santos Street Pizzeria. So you can get some nice pizza here. So they've got cheese, margarita, pepperoni, meat lovers. Pizza of the day is chicken caprese. It looks like he's got a little, little pizza oven back here. That's pretty neat. All in, all in this little area up here, Thousand Trails Orlando has a ton of stuff going on every day. Rock and roll, so this is egg rolls. This is so cool. Hi, let's take a look at their menu. Egg roll steak and cheese, buffalo chicken. Daddy's probably gonna try that one later. We're gonna do a steak and cheese, one roll combo with fries. Okay, Jen, thank you so much. I awesome, thank you. Already about eight minutes. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, they have donuts, Eli. Oh my goodness, look at all of these goodies. Oh. Hi, these look delicious. Thank you. Would you like to get one of these and you guys can split it? That looks amazing. How is it? That's really good. Really good? Best brownie. Best brownie? Thank you so much. Talking to you guys. Great meeting you guys. And then you can find them at rockandrollsfoodtruck.com and on Facebook and Instagram. Let's go try, let's go try our egg roll out. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This looks incredible. It is worth all the dairy and all the gluten. Let's try the fries. Mm. This is what my fries look like. Oh, the honey mustard is so good. With the honey mustard? I'm gonna taste some honey mustard. Ooh, look at this. It's kind of hot, so I'm gonna look at this. Cool. These are fresh out of the oven. Oh my god. That is good. Oh that is good. My. Right? Mom, so good. Water. We're gonna finish our little snacky snack, and then we'll pick you back up at the bus, right? Mm -hmm. So 
<laughs> normally somebody has to hold Chico because you guys don't really see the whole leashing up process. You just see him getting let out. The other ones are down here. They are wagging their tails and get Wheezy super excited. Do you have bags? No, I don't. Can you okay. grab some? Where's Molly? So we keep our bags over here. Then we proceed outside. Oh, I get Theodore, and then Kyle gets Wheezy and Kevin. Theodore pees and walks at the same time. Yeah, Theodore likes to go pee and walk at the same time. So is your day very productive? Yeah, it actually was very productive. I got a lot done. Trailer cleaned out. The tools picked up. A bunch of stuff. Wow, look at you go. Long day I bought, I went, bought a oven. Ooh, oven. Also exciting. Another day of shopping. Another day of living the dream. Molly, how was your day? You went on a bike ride? Right? Yeah, it was good. Definitely sugar caffeinated. I had a brownie, cookie, soda. You so, had a lot of sugar today. Right? It's going to be trouble for me going to sleep. This is us walking the dogs. I don't know if we've ever showed it kind of this way on the vlog, but you know, it's not well, bad. We showed it when we were in Colorado during the snow. Well, that was a long time ago. Go check out the prizes in the description of this video. There is some really, really awesome prizes for the giveaway. So then, once we get them all wrapped and we get the goods, we unleash them here and then they go right back into us. Wow, are the kids doing the dishes? Lion. You are because you are awesome. All right, once we get the dogs walked, we come back here. Oh, my Hi, baby, baby. Baby. We grab food bowl. I know we've showed you this on videos before, but we haven't like actually shown you what happens. Kyle heads out there, grabs food bowl, and then I put it in the shower. This is where we leave you. We are tired, we're pooped. We are gonna go lay down and go to bed. I hope you had a great day with us because we had a great day spending it with you. And from everybody here in Blue Betty, good night. Essence Flores was last seen on March the 12th, 2023, missing from Lenoke, Arkansas. Born on January the 24th, 2007, 16 years of age, Hispanic female, black hair, brown eyes, 5 foot 6 and approximately 160 pounds. Again, Essence was last seen on March the 12th of this year. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Essence, please reach out to the Lenoke Police Department at 501-676-6953. Let's see if we can try to help bring Essence home.